Hey folks, Ron here with Off-Road Tracks, another tutorial for you. This time we're going to be talking about how to download or what we call cache a map into the memory of the device so that we can use it when we are not within uh, cellular or Wi-Fi range. Um, so let's go ahead and get into that. We're going to pick a program here in this particular case. We're going to pick one called Locus Map Pro. We'll be showing some others uh, later on. So we let the program load here. Um, in the upper corner here, you're going to find the menu uh, for this particular program. We're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to click on the Maps section here. And it's going to show us a couple things. Notice that we have our online maps and what we've already uh, recorded as our offline maps. So those are the two types of maps. Again, our point we're talking about here is how do we get offline maps so that when we are not in cell phone range or Wi-Fi range that we can use that. And where we're going to start is going to our online maps and downloading a subset. So let's go ahead to that. We're going to click on the online. Notice that this program even gives you a little bit of tutorial right here. It tells you how to do it but we're going to go ahead and click on the map set that we want. In this case, we're going to pick uh, USGS Topo Map right here. So we're going to click on these three buttons and it gives us a download um, option, which you'll see right here very quick and easy. So we're going to click on download. Then notice it gives us options here. We can either select the particular screen that we've already uh, found and looked at and it's going to lock that screen for us so if we're driving down the road and we like what we see or if we're scanning on our computer at home we like what we see and we want to lock that screen we can do that quickly and easily or if we want to define an area we know we're going to go out we want to pick that area make sure that we don't get off of the uh, map somehow uh, we can do that so let's go ahead and do that we're going to check that box and notice that it, it already has the map that I was looking at which happens to be the Slade Kentucky area and then what we can do is we can, if we increase or decrease that map size, as you can see here with the buttons I'm pushing in the lower right corner, and then we can simply drag this box um, open at any parameter that we want. Um, we can drag any area that we see fit. And once we do that and decide that we like the area for our trail, and remember, you don't want this to be outside of the parameter uh, where you're going to be driving for that particular uh, journey. Once we have that, we're going to check this, uh, say we are done selecting our area, and then we're going to be given an opportunity to download that map, um, as you see here, and it says map with this name already exists, so that's fine. Um, just gives you a warning because I already, already had one named Stanton. I don't want to overwrite it. So in this particular case, I would name it whatever I want and then hit the download button again. So that's, that's as easy as that is. Now where does that map go? Uh, let's go back here. Notice again we have online and we have our offline map. So you saw the one that I've already downloaded. It's in the offline, so let's go ahead and click on the offline and there it is right here. So that's a user-defined box. We've named it. We've set the area that we want it to show us when we are offline out driving around in the backcountry. And that way we will have a map. And once we have our GPS connection, it will always show us on the screen on this particular map. Hope that helps. This is Ron with Off-Road Tracks and hope to catch you on a trail soon. Take care, everyone.